thought we'd have a look at the uh, uh, Neo Post uh, 240 uh, today, but I just wanted to show you these that I found on uh, on eBay. They are acrylic Royal Mail sizing guides. Uh, this particular one is uh, small parcels, and uh, we've got another small parcels one there. Uh, maximum weight two kilos. And then we've got the, the useful one, which is your standard letter and the uh, the large letter. And these were about, for the three, was I think about £14. So um, pretty useful, a little hanging uh, hole there, just so you can hang them on the wall. Uh, so it's just, I don't know whether you've ever seen those paper templates that you can get, but because they fold and flap around a bit, virtually anything will go through the paper template but when you get to the post office and they uh, they try and put it through their perspex or acrylic uh, size guide uh, it <laughs> won't fit so uh, I thought these would be uh, uh, quite useful it's also got the actual different sizes uh, measurements and the weights that you can uh, uh, can put through so yeah I'm quite uh, quite pleased with those anyway um, since the video on the Pitney Bowes yesterday, I uh, can update you on a couple of things. Firstly, the NeoPost system does seem to allow you to pay in arrears, uh, although I don't see how you actually activate that. So that will be a phone call on, um, on uh, Tuesday. Uh, also, you can get red ink still. I don't know why there's a choice now. Uh, another question for one of the manufacturers at some point. Uh, and having looked on eBay, the really expensive cartridges that the manufacturers supply, you, you can actually buy them a hell of a lot cheaper. You can buy original uh, cartridges half price or less on eBay and uh, probably refilled ones I've seen for you know even less. So I don't think there's such a, an issue uh, now with that. Of course the manufacturers say that if you don't use their cartridge and anything goes wrong, you, you're not covered under any sort of warranty. Uh, that they uh, that they offer so what I'm going to do is keep one of the original old cartridges and if anything goes wrong I'll sling that back in there and then call the service department I don't see why we should be screwed over for you know 60 quid a, a cartridge so as I said this is the Neo Post version and what have we got we have yeah it's the IS uh, 240 and uh, that looks like just a handy wall chart uh, just to tell you how to, to use it. Invoice. And uh, this looks uh, like a similar pack as before. Just saying it's easy to install it, but you can ring them up to, uh, to go through the procedure. That is an order form for stationery and cassette, cassettes and things like that. Same meter posting envelopes but this time we've got two, four, six, eight, ten compared to Pitney Bowes five. Again we have labels. This time there's only a thin strip in the middle separating them. There's no uh, company logo on there. Card. Uh, oh, this is so you can buy a special cleaning envelope, and uh, you're supposed to put the envelope through once or twice a month uh, to keep the print quality high. So I don't know whether that is the card, or uh, or you can order one. Yeah, don't know. I have to look that up. So then we've got the installation guide with CD. We then have the ink cartridge. As I said yesterday, this is a brand new machine. Oh, now that is substantially bigger than the Pitney Bowes one. So I'll have to ask how much the um, how many on average prints you're going to get with the logo off and logo on. Uh, contacts are on here. That's that. We'll pop that back in the box for a minute. 
this is something that the Pitney Bowes doesn't have. This is the meter die number, but in electronic format. In the old days, when Franken machines were mechanical systems, you would have a, a die cast aluminium uh, franking mark, and uh, you know that would be coated in ink, and then it would be pressed onto the envelope to uh, to make the impression. But now all the meter, you know, the meter number, and I guess my details are in uh, this in electronic format. It's pretty heavy, actually. I don't know uh, whether it's. Uh, encased in epoxy or something so it's completely tamper proof um, but I also suppose this can be swapped over to another machine so the machine has absolutely nothing stored in it so if it goes wrong they can send you out a brand new machine and all you do is take this out and pop it in the new one uh, on the Pitney Bowes one where this it doesn't have this arrangement it's uh, probably a bit more involved if you have to have the machine replaced That now this one uses a power supply rather than uh, the built-in mains on the Pitney Bowes. We've got a USB cable. Everything here is made in China, um, and this is a three amp, uh, oh sorry, three point four amp and nineteen volt supply. Yeah, Pitney Bowes. The what the scales on the Pitney Bowes were made in China, but the rest of the machine said made in the UK. Um, the plastic on the Pitney Bowes seemed a bit cheap and a bit flimsy. Here we have the scales, the Neo Post. This has got little rubber feet, so I'm guessing you can perhaps do this stand alone, and it just sits on the uh, on your bench if you wanted to. And they've just got a um, well, it looks like a standard LAN plug to me. The cable's not particularly long, but uh, just feels quite nice. Better quality plastic, I think. Just put that to one side. Just sit on there. Very similar size to the Pitney Bowes lengthwise. It's perhaps a little lower. The scales on the Pitney Bowes, as you remember, sort of sit up a little bit and they're on the right hand side. Now we have. Oh, now look, I don't know whether you can see that. I'll just lift this up. It has one of the old style. Um, ceiling tags uh, that uh, were used years ago on the mechanical ones, uh, tamper proof fittings. So there's the details, I'm assuming that is made in China, here it is. We have a LAN connection and the cable already plugged in and the USB, two sorts of USB uh, on the side, not sure why they would do that. Energy Star label on there, and that's about that. So what we'll do, we'll just put the Pitney Bowes by the side of it and zoom out, and uh, we'll see them 
both together. Oh, yeah, they're in the shot anyway. one feels a little bit better quality wise perhaps you know the, the quality of the plastic that weighs very little and that is actually quite heavy so on the uh, on the pitney bows the scales cannot be put anywhere convenient apart from on the top but on the on this one, I think this lead is long enough to actually have the, the scales to the side where it might be more convenient. But we'll see in a second. I'm going to plug this, uh, plug this lead in. Okay, so there is a sort of storage bit for the cable and it plugs in there so yeah you could in fact if you want have the scales way to the side I think that's probably a better idea and if uh, if not then the cable just tuck away in that little hole at the back that and, uh, and just sit there like that so yeah interesting I wonder why Pitney Bowes decided not to make that any longer you can't change it because it's uh, it's fitted permanently into that end as with the uh, the neo post So, yeah, there we go. That's just them side by side. Still really think that uh, is a bit tacky. There's nothing like that on the uh, Neo Post. Soft touch keys, which are bigger. The keys on this are uh, rubber, and they're um, well, they're, they're rubber, but they're much harder rubber and bigger as well. It's probably a nicer feel to the actual buttons so yeah I uh, still haven't managed to get the credit onto the Pitney Bowes that uh, is the software's installed it's all up and running but I think until Tuesday the, the credit isn't going to be able to be added uh, when they finally set up the accounts and things their end um, so I'm going to plug this into the computer now and see if we can do anything with that. And uh, yeah, that's it really, just uh, show you those side by side. Catch you later.